Hey guys, welcome to the last video of my road trip series. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along on the adventure with us. I filmed a little wrap up of the trip and I posted that at the end of this video. So check that out if you'd like to see my recommendations on my favorite spots for the trip and the best times of year to go see them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to day three of our road trip. Where are we today? The Tomb of Jesus Christ, which is an actual real place in Almory. Look at this. <laughs> Home of historical romance and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to the village of mystery and romance. So you can see there's numerous incredible attractions here. Number one, of course, is the Tomb of Christ. Um, but if the Tomb of Christ doesn't pique your interest, then number four certainly will. Skunk Cabbage Group Birthplace. <laughs> skunk Cabbage. <laughs> Tomb of Christ or Skunk Cabbage Birthplace. What's better? You decide in the comments. Did you expect to see the actual tomb of Jesus Christ on your trip to Japan? Uh, no. <laughs> to be I'm skeptical. How did this all come about? There's an explanation here as to how Jesus Christ came to die in this remote village of Japan. I'll let you read it for yourselves if you're interested. little thing sticking out the ground which says Arigato gozaimasu. Is this supposed to be in here? Yeah. But here this is dedicated to Father Jesus. Well which one's his grave? I think that's that's Jesus and this is his little brother. But didn't his brother die it's on the cross? It's a metaphor isn't it? It's done on the right. Yeah. He didn't get a thank you though. Even though he made the ultimate sacrifice for Jesus. No little Arigato gozaimasu <laughs> for him isn't it? Rubbish. I don't think it's a gift shop though, is it? It looks like a museum just a bit. No. An exhibition. Well, there's a little museum at the top if you want to learn more about the legend of Jesus Christ dying here in this small town in Aomori Prefecture. But we're headed off to our next location, which is Tawada Lake. Super beautiful lake that I've been to probably three or four times now. Um, but we really want to show it to Dave, who hasn't seen it yet. And I'd love to go there again. So that's where we're going next. Tawada Lake and it's raining. It's not that bad. It's actually not. And we've had such good weather for this entire trip that I really can't complain at all. But look, the leaves are starting to change color. We were hoping that once we made it up a little more north that they would be, and they have started. 61 kilometers squared. It's a huge lake. Let's climb this roof and see what it looks like from the highest point. Oh, beautiful. Right. Oh, wow. There's a viewpoint oh, up here. This is also the largest. Wow. Right, so there's a viewpoint up here. This is actually the largest lake oh, on the main island oh, of Honshu. I'm so glad the leaves are starting to change color, but imagine if it was like mid-fall season right now. It would be so nice up here. We got some though. If we just stand right here, it looks like it looks like it is. <laughs> those ones over there. They're starting though, they're starting. You could actually see through this to one of the islands. Take a look. So he jabbed a coin in it. Yeah, it's like stuck in there. <laughs> Normally you have to pay 100 yen, but it got stuck, so it's permanently usable. That's cool. Ah, cool. Chris crashed his drone yesterday, um, but we're just testing it out now, and it seems fine. We've made it 
to Almore City after about two and a half hours driving through the mountains. <laughs> We're heading to a shamisen restaurant because yeah. if you guys didn't know, shamisen comes from Almore Prefecture. So they have restaurants here where you can enjoy a meal and watch a shamisen performance at the same time. Victor found an apple tree. It's like, look, <laughs> you know where an Almore went. <laughs> what? Uh, if I see 3 po They've got all these really cool specialty Coke bottles all throughout Japan. This is the Aomori one. So Norm's got this master plan. We're gonna ask the shamisen players if he can test out their shamisen or like give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be like, can you teach me how to hold it? <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Norm's a pro shamisen player, so. He'll like fumble around a little bit and then start playing really well and it'll be That's hilarious. That's if they even so. let me touch it. Like if I were them, I wouldn't. So. I hope they do. Is that Robert Downey Jr.? Oh no, it's a Japanese guy that looks like him. <laughs> Not even close. I remember the food here being really nice. They had nice tempura. Oh Dave, you can try the Almori garlic after all. Ooh. They have some on the menu. Traveled all the way from the UK to try Almori garlic. He was all excited about it and then we cut it out of our itinerary. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, you can try it here. It's kind of a big deal. What's your favorite thing about shamisen? Someone say shamisen? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about shamisen? Because it's both melodic and percussive at the same time. Mm, it's got it's these melodic, incredibly yeah. gentle parts mixed with these very heavy parts. Yeah, I started to like it because of the Yoshida Kyodai. So if you guys haven't heard of them, check out their music. It's like a combination of more modern rock and traditional shamisen. And it works so well together. But yeah, we're gonna eat some food and enjoy some shamisen. So I hope you guys enjoy the performance. <laughs> he was actually really nice about it. As soon as I started playing, he's like, oh, I see what's going on here. I, I really like him. I like him. So the name of that restaurant was Bingo Bako. I highly recommend you check it out if you come to Aomori. And this concludes our road trip, you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to be filming a video with Norm over on his channel. So make sure you subscribe to him so you can check that out. I really wanted to show you some spots around Tohoku uh, to encourage you to come up here on your next Japan trip. So I hope I was successful. Best place definitely was the cliffs. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye. And that wraps up our road trip adventures. I really hope you guys enjoyed the series. And as for my favorite spot of the trip, I would have to say Unosu Dangai, Unosu Cliffs. It was just so much fun exploring the beach and not knowing what to expect really, venturing through the cliffs. And it's just such a gorgeous place. I think going there in the summer would probably be the best time. The drive through the woods to get to the beach is slightly dangerous, so you probably wouldn't want to go down there when it's snowy or icy, so avoid the winter time. But the trek down there is certainly worth it. It was just breathtakingly beautiful. I'm not sure if it came across like that on camera, but I am going to head back down there next year for sure. I need to say a big thanks to my friend Quinlan, who was the one who suggested that we visit the cliffs. He also has a channel here in Morioka. He focuses on lots of outdoor adventurous type stuff. If you guys are into that, go check out his channel. He's a really great guy. Jodogahama Beach must be the best swimming spot I have ever seen. I will take you guys there next summer for some swimming and let you know what I think. A couple of the Japanese commenters said that people aren't swimming because the ocean is known to be super cold up in Northern Japan, even in the summer, I guess. So I'll test that out and let you guys know next summer. But as for 
for the beach, that's definitely a spot you would want to go see in the summer. It's not going to seem as pretty in the colder months. It'll probably be cloudy and a little gloomy looking. So if you can get down there during the warmer season, that would probably be best. However, the drive from Morioka to Miyako on the coast is best seen during the fall. If you go when the leaves are starting to change color, that trip is just unbelievable. It's hard to put into words. There are just so many trees surrounding the roads getting up there, just rolling mountains of continuous brightly colored fall leaves. It's super cool. Let me know what your favorite spot was in the comments or if you've been to northern Japan, leave a comment and let people know where you really think they should visit. Thanks again for watching guys. I will have the links to the channels of all my friends that joined along for the trip down below so please do go check them out and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!